The Halloween House, written by and illustrated by Carol Moore. The Halloween House is big and old. I'm told that on Halloween night, things happen there. Now Susie's moved in. She's only four, along with her brother, her father and mother, and little Picador. He's their dog. Well, maybe half of a dog. He's a chihuahua, as small as they come. Susie's room is in the attic. It's no fun. With a high ceiling, cold and gloomy, and shadows that run halfway up the walls, Susie hides under the blanket. Picador too. Come on, he's no guard dog. Susie's mum bought her a bear, and Teddy Bear named Teddy. He's big and fluffy, and Susie adores him. I love you so much, she says. Then she wraps her arm around him, snuggling like a cat, ready to purr, while Picador buries himself in all that fur. The Halloween house's attic may be scary, but Teddy's not around. Around his neck, he wears a blue scarf and red polka dots. On his back paws are black tennis shoes tied with lace and plenty of knots. Something is silly about that teddy bear. He's got a goofy smile from ear to ear. It's kind of lopsided and sweet, although not quite complete. He was cheap when Susie's mum bought him at the dollar store, but his smile is always there. When scratching and squeaking comes from the walls, Teddy smiles. When clothes on the floor become strange figures and piles, Teddy smiles. When an invisible spider's miles of cobweb fades away in the morning, Teddy smiles. Tonight is Susie's first Halloween at the Halloween house. She has finished her trick or treating. She did it earlier in the evening. She dressed up as a pumpkin with an orange glow, and now her two bags of candy overflow onto the floor. It's midnight and everyone's asleep. Not a peep, until suddenly there's a tap at the door. Tap, tap, tap. It starts out soft and low, and then changes into a steady beat, 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 as though a giant's heart is nudging the door. Teddy smiles. A thin mist streams from a crack in the corner. Turns into a snake sliding across the floor. Teddy smiles. Next, at the window, appears a witch 200 years old with a black hat hiding half her face and the wrinkles it holds. She slips right through the glass as, it, as though it isn't there at all. Once inside, she stands up, six feet tall. Teddy smiles. A long-legged smiter with big fangs drops from the ceiling and hangs only five feet over the bed where Susie and Picador peacefully sleep. The snake, the witch and the spider slither, creep and dangle closer, growing bigger as they go. They're up to no good. This can't be happening. Teddy is watching. He smiles no more. The upturned side of his lip droops down while the other part of his lip lifts up. Teddy's smile turns into a snarl. When the three monsters almost reach the bed, Teddy gets up, but more than that, he begins to grow, although much faster and bigger than they. His tennis shoes pop off and his scarf floats away. Sweet, smiling, Teddy turns into a grizzly bear, the biggest, meanest grizzly of your imagination. Standing on his back paws, stretching to the ceiling, Teddy is terrifying. Fortunately, Susie and Picador are still asleep. The snake, the witch, and the spider stop growing. They stare at him. There's wonder and shock in their eyes. This is an unexpected surprise. Then Teddy roars. It's so loud, it doesn't help to cover your ears. And the ghouls hear it. This grizzly is beyond their worst fears. With a puff and a poof, they disappear. Susie is instantly awake, her eyes big and round. With a frightened yip, Picador bolts from under the covers, trembling with dread. But they see nothing. Nothing at all because the monsters have fled. And Teddy is suddenly Teddy again. How could that be? It happened so fast, there was nothing to see, except his shoes are across the room and his scarf is at the bottom of the bed. Gone is the snake, gone is the witch, gone is the spider and the beating heart at the door. It's quite obvious they'll never return, never more. At least not to this Halloween house so long as the, this bear stays around. And he will stay, because he is loved. Have no fear, Teddy's here, and he smiles.